Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I have Anthony here with me again. Um, we are going to be doing, if you watched my live video that I put up a few minutes ago, we're going to be doing a movie review on Tu Wong Fu. Thank you for everything. Love, Julie Newmar. <laughs> so this came out in 1995. It has Patrick Swayze in it, John Leguizamo, and Wesley, Wesley Snipes. Snipes. Yeah. Hmm. So Blade. Blade. So I I like this movie. I think Anthony likes this movie a little bit. I know our two year two year old likes it. We've seen this movie so many yeah. times. I think last month we watched it every night. <clears throat> or for the past two months two months we watched it every night. Yeah. But it's about these three so Patrick Swayze's character and Wesley Snipes' character, they're friends, but it's all it's all about drag queens. All about drag queens. And, oh, they're all three drag queens. Oh, they're all three drag queens, by the way. But Patrick Swayze looks good as a woman. And so does John Logazamo. Now, Wesley Snipes, not so much. Um, but anyway, so Wesley Snipes' character, um, which I can't remember his character's name. I don't know. But Patrick Swayze's character's name is Vito Boem. And then uh, John Logazamo is Chi Chi. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, they're in... Patrick Swayze's character and Wesley Snipes' character, they are inter or they do this drag drag queen um, show and they both get a t they both tie. And so they were going to I think it's California, they're going from New York um, to go to this mm -hmm. comp competition. And then they see Chi Chi, who's John Leguizamo's character, and they kind of bring bring him her along and um, they do <laughs> like they're trying to teach him how to be a drag queen because he's considered what they call a drag princess. So they got to go out from all the way from New York to all the way to California in this, um, what is it? They have a choice between like an 89 or nine, it's like a 91 or 92 Corolla or and what are they? a like 83 or 84 Cadillac DeVille. Of course they picked the, they pick the Cadillac because they look very stylish. Yeah. But they drive it all the way from New York to California. But in the, in the meantime, Patrick Swayze's character gets pulled over by this cop. Um, and the guy who plays the cop, his name escapes me right now, he, but he played in Footloose with yeah. Kevin Bacon. But I can't it's remember his last name. And he's, he's kind of hitting on him. Mm -hmm. And uh, goes to kind of like grope his leg. And he says, don't touch my balls. And kicks him. Say that. Him. What? God, okay. He says it in the movie. I know, but... <laughs> like so, real manly he says don't touch him so <laughs> it's funny so he um like knocks the cop out knocks the cop out but he thinks he killed him so of course they're thinking three drag queens just killed this cop it's gonna be bad so they drive away they leave him there they drive away and um they their car breaks down and they get stuck in this podunk town who can order parts and then they get to know all their people in that town and they create relationships since it's a cadillac the parts don't show up for what three days next monday yeah. three months because it's like friday or something <clears throat> like that and not show up till monday. <clears throat> but anyway um they create relationships in this town they i feel like they help the people in the town a lot kind of become who they are, who they are. um and then uh eventually the parts arrive and they leave and they make it to california and uh, spoiler alert, Chi Chi becomes the drag queen of the year. And um, I mean, this movie's pretty simple, but I think it's, I think it was ahead of its time in 1995, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's a good movie. I think it's got a lot of fun parts, a lot of funny parts. Um, I think you should see it. It's on Netflix right now. Um, as of today, I just seen it on Netflix. I was just checking it out. Um, again, obviously, like I said, my two-year-old Emma likes it, loves it. Um, and then what do you think, Anthony? It's, it's a pretty good movie. Um, at first I really wasn't into all the drag queen and I seen who was playing it and I was like, yeah, it's going to be pretty funny. So yeah, it was, it was pretty funny. And, uh, so I was forced to watch it every night and just... In the gif of watching here and there, and most of the time I kind of stay awake until Emma's almost out, so I almost watch the whole movie every night. So, 
So we could recite words. Good. Emma can recite words from this movie. Mm -hmm. It's pretty funny. So check it out. It's on Netflix right now. It's called Tu Wong Fu. Thank you for everything. Love Julie Newmar. Which, by the way, Julie Newmar is in the end of the movie, actually. Um, so if you don't know who she is, she actually plays the original Catwoman from the Batman series. Um, and, and check out Blade. Blade is a really good movie, too. Apparently. And then all of Patrick Swayze's movies are good. Yeah. John Leguizamo's got some funny ones out there. Like The Pest. Ooh, I'm going to do a movie review on well, that Well, isn't he... He kind of plays a drag queen also in... What is that movie? Um, uh, I don't the know. Air, um, Air... What is it? I don't even remember. He's in the airplane. He's in jail. With... What's his name? I'm not sure. Dang it. Uh, I'll have to get back with you. I can't... Con Air. No, that's not him. That's a yeah. different actor. Are you sure? Yeah, trust me. Positive. That's a different actor. Kind of. That's a completely kinda different actor. Kind of acts exactly the same. A little bit, yeah. They kind of act exactly the same. Con kinda Air. Look, look together, too. Con Air is definitely another movie review we'll have to do. That's one of yeah, my favorite Con Air, movies. Con Air is a really good movie. Yeah. So, but anyway, that's a completely different video. This is Tu Wong Fu. And then, uh, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, just leave them down in the comments. And like and subscribe. And then uh, I think that's it. Then we're going to step off here. We were watching the OSU game. Buckeyes just won. 72 to 14? I don't know. Yeah, the Buckeyes. Mm -hmm. so anyway, all right. You guys have a good Saturday. Thanks. Bye.